Well, hey there, folks. It's Mr. Mega Man Fan, and I feel like trying out some more things with the analog pocket, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's start out with Yoshi Topsy Turvy, a game with a motion sensor built into it, so this should be a good test case for analog pocket being able to handle weird Game Boy Advance games, but we won't stop there. I'll try several others, too. Fits in there just fine, of course. Although, some people may not like that fact that it tends to not be snug in there compared to a Game Boy Advance, but I mean, you take what you can get. At least you can play Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color all with this one device, right? Ooh, gotta adjust the white balance here. Press any button to continue. Choose the system that you're using. All right, let's go ahead and calibrate this. Yes, yes I do want to calibrate it. Hold your advance at a slight angle. Well, we're gonna consider it an advance for this purpose. Let me get a little more comfortable here. Hold it at a slight angle. That looks like he's standing straight. Call that straight. Yep. Well, I would say this works fine. How about we give Drill Dozer a shot? This one's got a rumble feature in it, so we'll see if it rumbles while I'm playing. At this point, I've got to say I'm not actually feeling any rumbling while I'm playing the pocket, but I'm not sure if that's because the rumble motor is dead or if it's because my copy of the game just doesn't do that on an analog pocket. But it's not rumbling. It's not a big deal to me because the game still works. But I will go back into the settings and make sure that I did turn it on because I'm pretty sure I selected rumble on, but I'll go look. So it's definitely not because I didn't have rumble on, so either that feature is just disabled by default when you're using a rumble cartridge in a pocket, or it's just dead. The motor in it to make it rumble is dead. I'll try it on a Game Boy Advance later, but the game still works, so not totally disappointed by that. Let's try WarioWare Twisted. Another gyroscope game.
So we're gonna lose this at some point. Just the pain. Yeah, I couldn't take it anymore. Let's try Boktai, the sun in your hand, which has a solar sensor in it. I don't know how well that'll work in artificial light, but we'll find out. Error. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, must not have had it inserted all the way. You probably can't tell what I'm doing at this point because of the camera angle, but the game tells you to put your hand over the solar sensor on the top of the cartridge, and when you have it completely covered, press the A button. That's the way it calibrates the light level while you're playing the game. Solar Boy seems to work. What else can we try? Uh, let's see. Rockman EXE 4 or Rockman Battle Network 4, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah, this seems to work fine too. Classic NES series games since they are known to give emulators trouble, so... Yeah, that works fine, too.
everything works fine. Well, that's it for today's testing. Everything I tried, everything I threw at it worked fine, other than the rumble and drill dozer. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan, and as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.